in the bottom left corner, we have the, our very own, the one and only, the king himself, Heartland Hitman Sick! And in the top right, we have his opponent, the challenger, just a little bit nervous, Heartland Hitman's Affixus. We're going to learn a little bit more about these these players. I, ha I think everyone knows and loves Sick completely platonically in most cases, perhaps not in uh, other cases, such as Wrecker and Strider. I know they just dream about Sick, but let's learn a little bit about Affixus. Affixus is from the U.S. East Coast, another East Coaster. His favorite color, orange, and that is exactly the color that he has gotten today as the Orange Terran. When he is not playing StarCraft, he is petting his cat. That is probably the most pet cat in the world. Wrecker joining in on the commentary. Wrecker, say hello. We like him a lot. Lots of dreams. All right. So, uh, also for Fixus, he does love his Reapers. So hopefully we will see some Reaper aggression early in the game. Always love to see Reapers so quick, so micro-intensive, so difficult to use if you do not have that high APM. My laptop is about to shut down. I need to go hit a switch very quickly. I will be right back real quick. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, okay. We, we're good. We're good. Everything is okay. We are okay. Or maybe not. Yes. Ah, there we go. My laptop has power. All right, there we go. Hopefully Wrecker has entertained you in the meantime. But I don't think anything of too much import has been happening. Thank you, Wrecker, for filling in. Barracks coming down for Affixus. Super standard all the time. Gas coming down as well, so might see those Reapers. Would love to. They're always, always fun. All right, trying to get my head back into this game. But really, there's not all that much to talk about just yet. Affixus was a little bit nervous before this match being casted. And this is, by the way, Game 3. Sick won the first game, Affixus won the second game. So this was six map, map choice as Neoplanet S. We are back to the Neoplanet. We'll be curious to see just why he wanted this map. Also curious to see if Affixus, if his nerves will get to him. To have a Reaper on the way. He does love his Reapers, and it shows. He is going to get that Reaper out, and... And... And the, and it will st now start moving out. Unfortunately, the Mothership Core is out, so we'll be able to chase away that Reaper. Hopefully we'll see a Stalker as well, but does Sick have any units? He has one Zealot. He has an Zealot. That is his entire defense. Also not sure what that Zealot was doing down there, but now it is coming back to help defend the main. Reaper is now up into the base. And is now chilling out. But is fortunately not seen. Ah, there we go. He will be now getting a scout out. We'll see the Chrono Boost on the Warp Gate. As well as the Stargate. That is some huge information right there. Actually seeing that Stargate. Might see some Oracles. Oracles so good against Terran, but only when they aren't scouted. Which is exactly what Affixus just did with that Reaper. Beautiful little Reaper scout. No damage done by the Reaper, but the scouting, that is what is so key. Stick with it. Probe down here, looking for the timing on this natural. Nice little ninja probe. See if that Reaper can actually find it and take it out. No, he will be going right back into his base. Affixus getting a little bit of a bank. Might be going for an expansion. And yes, that is exactly what he was doing. All right, Reaper fast expand. Got some Hellions out on the way as well. Hellions against Pardos, always interesting. Sentries can shut them down pretty easily. And sick. Oh, supply block for a moment on that Oracle, but there is an Oracle on the way. Where is that Oracle going? We're going to follow the trail of this Oracle. The Oracle path goes all the way up here, so he will be going right for the main, for the heart of the Terran base. Now, Affixus has seen the Stargate. He saw that with the Reaper. So he needs some kind of defense up. He has no anti-air. He has, he has a Marine. He has a Marine. He has a Viking on the way. Okay, the Viking will be able to defend off that Oracle. So he will be safe. Gave me a bit of a heart attack there for a little bit. I have to admit. Lots of gas stored up for Affixus. 
and he's starting to fall behind a bit on supply. Six expansion almost done. The expansion timing for both players about even. But these Hellions have been building up but not really actually accomplishing much. Might be going for some kind of a drop. No, he's going for another Viking. Alright, Oracle is out of Void Ray is on the way behind it. So he's not going for multiple Oracles. One is all he needs. And it comes and right into the Viking. The Viking will immediately start getting some shots off. And the Oracle does get one kill before it runs right on out. It will be able to outrun the Viking. And actually will not take any hull damage. No, he has only taken he has taken exactly 60 damage from that Viking. Lots of Hellions still just kind of sitting around. They do need to be a little bit more active. Could be doing run-bys, get a lot of probes, do a lot of damage. But he is, so he is missing that opportunity just a little bit. Command Center now coming down, so this expansion will get up and running, but 6 has been up for a little bit longer. And that's 35 probes with 27 SCVs. Mules will help close that gap a little bit, but that does need to be an orbital sooner rather than later. Oh, we do have some mines coming out, so Affix is playing very defensive. But the problem is, so is Sick. Sick is building up his econ and just sitting back saying, all right, I can just hang out here and build up whatever I want. Hellions, so quick, they do need to be, ah, they do need to be more active. Air weapons coming up for Sick. He is going for Sky Toss against Terran. This will be very interesting to see. Some more Voidrays out. Another, it was, nope, that, excuse me, that was the original Oracle. And not only Hellions, but Siege Tanks as well. You're seeing two factories. Alright, we got a mech PVT going on here. That is exciting to see. More Hellions. I would still love to see those Hellions doing some sort of run-bys, get the mines out there, get a bit more map presence. And as Riker points out, Siege is not good against Sky Toss, neither are Hellions. But the thing is, if the mech player goes on the offense... Sky Toss takes so long to get up that you can do so much damage as the Terran player. Or you could be taking this base, he needs to expand, he needs to do something rather than play just quite this passively. Both players about neck and neck in supply. Upgrades going in favor of Sick now that he's gotten uh, upgrade level 1, almost done. We'll probably see a Fleet Beacon in the very near future. And a Twilight Council as well. Likely to see a lot of Zealots. I know Sick loves his Zealot Void Ray. Lots of charge lots. And Sick is going to be starting to move out. Oracle leading the charge with these two Stalkers. Poking and prodding around. Oracle will be able to detect those Widow Mines as soon as he knows he's there. The question is, will the Mines get in some big, big hits before that happens? Bit of a tense moment. This tank not sieged up, that could be a bit of a mistake. He will get that first volley off, that will scare off Sick briefly, but there's not much anti-air. There are four Void Rays and four Void Rays against two Vikings. Three Vikings, again two Vikings. That is not going to happen. And oh, Widow Mines does get a huge hit on the Void Rays, and that will drive him off at least briefly. And Sick turning around, but oh, he could have actually done so much more damage if he had actually committed those Void Rays, but there's no real way for him to know how many Widow Mines are actually sitting back here. In this case, it was none, but that's so, so terrifying as per us if you just don't know what you are up against. Another base coming down and Storm coming down. Alright, he's not going for those charge lots. He is going for Storms and Archons. Or at least just Storms. Record pointing out, Sick does love his Storm. And who doesn't? Alright, Terran is expanding or will be expanding shortly. Good to see that, but again, he needs he needs to do something more than just kind of stay neck and neck. He is a bit ahead in supply, which is nice, but uh, needs the upgrades, needs tech, needs needs more than what he has right now. Would also love to see some mortals out for sick. The time for run buys for those Hellions is now well gone. This third base, though, is very vulnerable. And does he even know about this? No, he does not. He has not really scouted out much at all. Lots and lots of Hellions. How many Hellions do we have right now? 15 Hellions and one Reaper is still alive. He is just hanging out in the middle there. Here a Reaper seeing that Stargate and getting those Vikings out. 
to stop that Oracle Harass at the beginning. Lots of tanks as well. Sick pulling ahead in the worker count, and with his third base up and running, Terran's third base is now just starting to move out, and both players are playing so passively. For us, a bit ahead in the income currently, but that will change as soon as a few mules get dropped at this third. Neither player really knows about the other player's third. The tension is overwhelming. Very little lost on both sides as well. There's a bit of poking from Sick at the front. Did lose more in terms of resources, but not huge losses on either side. So really, it's going to turn into a macro fest. And look at the supplies. Affixus is going way, way ahead. But the problem is, a lot of six money has actually gone into this tech. If you if you look at the spending tab, so much has gone into this tech. He's gotten almost nearly twice the amount of resources into upgrades, into storm, into just all sorts of tech that will be able to help handle this army. So while this army is bigger, it's not necessarily better. Lots and lots of Hellions. Uh, we are going to see Transformation Servos is going down, so all these Hellions can now transform into Hellbats. Not something you actually see all that often. Usually players go straight for that armory and then start cranking out those Hellbats. In this case, we are going to see the Transformation Servos in action. I'm a fan of them. It does add some versatility to your army. You can have very quick run-by harassing units and then immediately, basically on demand, have that beefy frontline army to stop those charge lots, which is exactly... What Avix is doing. He does need a lot more Vikings, though, after seeing those Void Rays. And we do have a Fleet Beacon coming down, so we're going to be able to see possibly Carriers, as well as more Advanced Air Upgrades. He already has plus one, plus one. Don't know if he has Shields as well. He does not... He does have Shields. He, and is likely going to be going for more of that shortly with the Twilight Council. And Sick is getting that fourth now. Very bold, but Affixus just hasn't put on any pressure at all. No Hellion run by is nothing at all. He's just building up to max and then going for the death push. Could probably use gas at this base, especially with Mech. Mech is so, so gas hungry. Affixus almost maxed, but sick very close behind. It is now a race to 200, and we have an army building up now. Lots of Zealots with charge are going to be moving up now. They will tank a lot of... Well, the thing, the thing with this is that all the ground units for Fixus, they can only hit ground, and all the air units can only hit air. So the Zealots are just basically going to charge right into a bunch of Hellbats, and not really accomplish all that much that the Void Rays alone could do. And we are going to see a huge encounter right here. Lots of Void Rays. Can the Void Rays take out the Vikings? The Vikings are being cut apart. Lots of Void Rays are going to completely decimate that army. The Void Rays are now completely unchecked. Hellbats are running by. They're trying to get this army to turn around and go home. But is it too little too late? The tanks are going to go back. Observer will see this. The Hellbats are going to actually pull the Void Rays back. The Void Rays could have gone in here and destroyed this base, but instead they have to come back and deal with these Hellbats. Lots more Zealots, but Hellbats so good against Zealots of every kind. Lots of Hellbats coming in here now, and they will do the transformation servos and jet on out of there, but a lot has been lost for our Terran player. Amounts lost about even. And both players have really lost only... Well, the our Terran player has lost Vikings, which is pretty gas-intensive, whereas the Protoss player has lost mostly Zealots, which is, which is basically just minerals. So in terms of trade, Sick is coming out ahead, especially with his fourth base now coming up. He should be ahead in economy very shortly. He's a bit ahead in probes. They're about even when you consider mules as well. Do need to get these gases up. So many minerals for Fixus. So little gas needs that gas. Lots of zealots coming in. Will destroy that expansion before it can actually get up. But this will be chased off by a lot of Hellions and a lot of tanks. Do like the Immortal that will help out against those tanks. No upgrades still for Fixus, and that is so important when Sick is the one that is getting all these upgrades. Another Stargate on the way. Sick is definitely going heavy. Sky Toss does love his Void Rays, and for good reason. Some Archons on the way now as well. Archons so, so good against Hellbats. Hellbats with that biological tag take extra damage, and the Splash is just what you need. It's a huge Hellbat force. Army's now in a bit of a standoff. 
Void Rays at 1-1-1. Three Vikings out of time, four Vikings out of time. That is what Aphixus needs after seeing that huge air army. But again, uh, if he had been getting those upgrades, the, the ship plating will affect both his ground mech and his Vikings. And that armor is so useful against the Void Rays. Those Void Rays do attack. A weapon speed of 0 0.5, damage 7, versus l armored 11. So imagine for a moment, if you have one armor, you go from 11 to 10. That's almost a 10% decrease in DPS. Just with that armor alone. It makes such, such a difference. So always remember that, especially for Zurich as well. Corruptors will do a lot better if you have that air armor upgrade. Absolutely cripples those Void Rays. And Void Rays with attack upgrades, likewise, do so much more damage in comparison. Right now he is going for that plus two uh, air attack. So he's going to be pulling further and further ahead, and these Vikings are just going to melt away almost instantaneously. That Zealot up there is going to take out the SCV, trying to boldly build this fourth base for Aphixus. We'll take that out. Another base coming up for Sick. And this army's kind of sitting here in the middle. Not much it can really do. It needs to do something, though, or Sick is just going to run away with this game with all these bases that he now has. Lots of Churchills coming in, but instantly melting to those Hellbats. Time Warp going down, not sure what it really can accomplish, though. And here's the real battle, the Void Rays against those Vikings. Some secret missiles going on, huge hits on the Vike! Oh my god, the Void Rays have been completely destroyed by those Ravens. Oh my god, the secret missiles just completely destroying that entire army in seconds. Six Supply is plummeting. He has so much bank, but he can't spend it. He's building two Void Rays at a time. That's all he can do. Oh, those Ravens! Four kills on that Raven, five kills on that Raven. Those Seeker Missiles absolutely turning this game around in a heartbeat. The clumped up Void Rays were six downfall in that engagement. If a Zealot run by coming around, it might... No, there is no base up there for it to actually kill now. And now here comes the mech push, the scary, scary mech push when there's no Void Rays to actually stop this. Six base is forfeit, but he does have this base up here, so all is not lost. This game is actually pretty damn close. It is on a razor's edge. Who can actually take the advantage here? Three Ravens against four Void Rays, and that base has absolutely no chance of staying alive. What does Sick have to defend up here? He does have some Void Rays coming out. A couple Archons, but the Archons are... Oh, are the Archons stuck? The Archons are stuck. He has to blow up his own cannon to get out of his base. This is a terrible, terrible spot. This will allow the Seashanks to siege up. Seashanks doing so much splash damage, melting the Zealots away. The Archons are coming out, though, and now they will get some shots off. Are pretty beefy against those tanks, but I just don't think there's quite enough. And no, there are not quite enough. A Void Ray is coming out, getting a little bit ambitious. Will be taken out almost immediately by those Vikings. And no upgrades for Aphixus, but it doesn't matter at this point. Those Seeker Missiles, oh, that was... If he takes this game, that will be why, but there is a huge counterattack. It might turn into a bit of a base race now. Void Rays are completely overrunning this main base, and there's not much that Aphixus has back in his main. This base has, has gone down. Lots of Zealots overrunning the base. Does he turn around or does he go back? This is such a difficult decision, and he will split. He will, uh, he, he will turn back. He will most likely try and hold this base down here. It's so important that he holds that. He needs to protect his, his infrastructure as well. So while he has taken out this base of Sick, Sick with a very brave counterattack has actually turned this game around once again. This game has seesawed back and forth. Lots and lots of bank for our Terran player, but now he can't spend it. All the, all the production is going down, and, and he's turned around, but it's far too late. That slow, slow mech army cannot get home in time. Needed more defense, needed more of a way to keep the Protoss actually pinned in his base, but the Protoss, having spread out uh, along the map so far, is just in such a good spot. Lots and lots of Vikings might be able to do something against these Void Arrays, but... Oh, uh, does he have the Mothership Core there? I don't think he does, so he cannot recall back. This army is all in, but it might be just enough, as there's not much left for our turn to do. He might be able to siege up and take out a lot of the Protoss forces. He needs to siege up right now. He needs to siege up now, 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 now. He does not siege up at all. All the Zealots are going to get in with no problem at all. They're going to start melting through those tanks. And all the Vikings, while they have been able to take out the Void Rays, they are now completely useless. Huge Seeker missiles going down the, on the Zealots. A lot of them being taken out, being so clumped up. But our Terran is now so far behind on supply. 
those Seeker missiles are ridiculously good, but... Oh, more Void Rays coming in the mail for Sick. And it is 54 probes to 26 SUVs, and there is the GG. Sick has taken it in game number three.